What's up guys, Cameron here. I hope you're all doing great. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a style of picking that I really love to use. And once I kind of got the hang of this style of picking, it really transformed the way that I play and it started to open up a lot of new ideas across the fretboard for me. So I wanna share that with you guys. So this is a style of picking that I like to call swalt picking. Uh, I call it this because it's a blend of sweet picking and alt picking or alternate picking. So I find that sweeping and alt picking go together really well. So well in fact that I find there's kind of a way to blend them into a unified thing where it doesn't feel like you're switching from one mode to the other. Like now I'm in sweet picking mode and now I'm in alternate picking mode and now back to sweet picking mode and so on. It just starts to feel like one way of playing. So in this lesson, I'm gonna start by giving you the basic logic behind swalt picking. And I'm gonna show you some exercises that you can use to start getting used to this way of picking. But first, I gotta do the YouTube thing and tell you to please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps out the channel. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you hit that little bell icon. It'll notify you of new videos I put out as soon as I put them out. And if you want to check out more in-depth instructional material, you can visit my tutorial store. That's CameronAllenMusic.com forward slash tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's get into the juicy stuff. All right, so as I mentioned, this is a blend of alt picking and sweet picking. So let's just do a quick review of what those actually mean. So let's start with alternate picking. So alternate picking is when you are alternating between downstrokes and upstrokes for each new note. So for example, if we take a scale like the G major scale, okay? And actually when we get here to the B string, we're gonna double this D note that we played on the G string just to keep our hand in the same position. So our scale goes. So if we played that with alternate picking, we would just be alternating downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke for every new note. Down, up, down, up, down, up, and so on for the whole scale. Now, sweet picking is when we play multiple strings using the same type of pick stroke. So for example, if we played this arpeggio here, using all downstrokes, that would be an example of sweeping. Um, we could also play that in reverse order, playing a descending arpeggio using all upstrokes, and that would also be sweet picking. So how do these fit together? Well, for our purposes in this lesson, we are basically gonna think about the sweeping component as being a connector between alternate picking lines. So a simple example of this would be to start here at the low E string and we'll play the first three notes of the G major scale using alternate picking. So we have down, up, down. And then starting here at this B note that we played with the downstroke, we're gonna initiate a sweep across this arpeggio. Okay, now we've done down, down, down for those. And then we're gonna play two more notes using alternate picking. So we got to the D string with a downstroke. So our next note of the scale will be an upstroke and then a downstroke. So all together we would get. So that's down, up, down, 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 up, down. Now we could do the same thing in reverse order. We could start with an upstroke here at the D string. We could go up, down, up, and then here we're starting this sweep, right? So then we go up, up, and then down, up. So we have alternate picking, and then we sweep through an arpeggio, and then continue alt picking. 
Now, in those examples, we were playing each of the three notes of the arpeggio portion with the same type of pick stroke, right? So on the ascending version, the sweep was with three downstrokes in a row for that arpeggio and three upstrokes in a row for the descending version. So for that type of arpeggio there, I'm gonna call that a same direction arpeggio. Okay, so let's contrast that against our other alternative, which could happen if we were alternate picking, starting with an upstroke. Okay, and then now we need to start this arpeggio portion, not with a downstroke, followed by two more downstrokes, but with an upstroke, followed by two downstrokes. So here we have up, down, up, down, down up, down. Okay, so that arpeggio portion started with an upstroke, was followed by two downstrokes, so I'm gonna call that a mixed direction arpeggio. Okay, so we could do the same thing if we started at the D string and descended through this pattern, but now we're gonna start with the downstroke, then play an upstroke, then a downstroke, followed by two upstrokes, and then down, up. So again, we had down, up, and then we get to this arpeggio, downstroke, and following it with two upstrokes. So that's another mixed direction arpeggio, okay? And then we just continued alt picking. So those are the two basic types of movements that you'll need to get used to when you're combining alt picking with sweet picking in these examples that I'm giving you. So our goal is to be able to switch out of our alternate picking into a sweep to connect us to more alternate picking. And of course, with alternate picking, at any given point, we could be using a downstroke or an upstroke. So it's really important to get used to both the mixed direction and the same direction arpeggios so that we can be ready to transfer into a sweep no matter what type of stroke we're using in our alternate picking runs. Now for this lesson, we're not gonna be using sweeps that involve any more than three strings at a time, um, just for the sake of simplicity. But if you wanna check out some ideas for arpeggios that involve four, five, and six strings, I cover that in great depth in my Creative Arpeggios tutorial, which I'll leave a link for down in the description. So here's an exercise that will take you through this scale, staying in the same position, but moving through each of the string sets in an ascending fashion. So we're gonna start with a downstroke, then play an upstroke, then a downstroke, 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 and then up, then down. So down, up, down, 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 up, down. And we're gonna do that through each string set. And then again here. And then again, starting on the G string. So when we put that all together, we can get an exercise like this. Now we could do that in reverse. So we could start with an upstroke, then a downstroke, then an upstroke, 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 downstroke, upstroke and we can repeat that on each string set. And again. And then again. So we can put that all together. Now here's another exercise we can do that still involves a same direction arpeggio, but with a little bit more alternate picking. So we can start it out the same way, down, up, down, then a same direction arpeggio, so two more downstrokes. But now we're going to skip the middle note of the string and jump straight up to the higher note, okay? And use an upstroke here, and then descend down the string with alt picking. So down, up, 
and then come to the next string and continue alt picking down up so again let's put that all together we get down up down 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 up down up down up and then if we continued alt picking we would be at a down stroke here but we would just be starting the pattern over here so the entire pattern would repeat starting on this string set now so we would go down up down 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 skip the middle note so up down up down up and then for this down stroke we would be starting the pattern over now at the D string and then that starts the pattern again so down up down 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 up and so on so when we put that all together we get And now we can do that same exercise in reverse, starting on the high E string. So here we'll have up, down, up, and then two more up strokes for our descending arpeggio. And then we're gonna skip the middle note and come here with a down stroke, then walk back up the scale with alt picking. So up, down, up, down, and then this upstroke here will start the pattern over again, now starting from the B string. So we get. And then we would be on an upstroke again here, so. And then once more. Put that all together we get so here's another exercise that still involves same direction arpeggios uh, this one is actually going to start with an upstroke okay and then we're going to skip the middle note here and we're going to come straight here with a downstroke. So we've got third fret with an upstroke, and then seventh fret on the low E string with a downstroke. Then we ascend through our arpeggio using all downstrokes. Okay, then we're going to skip the middle note here on the D string and start alternate picking. So we use an upstroke at the seventh fret, then a downstroke, then an upstroke. Now, when we come to this a string, we're actually gonna skip the highest note and go straight to the middle note. So that's a down stroke. And then we would be here at the third fret with an up stroke, but this is where we're gonna reset the pattern. So we get. And then this up stroke here starts the pattern over. Okay, so now we're starting at the A string. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go up, down, down, down. Skip the middle note, up, down, up. Skip the highest note, so down. And then we would be starting over here with an up stroke. So then again, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down and then resetting once more at the G string, so. So when we put that all together, we get. So now we can do the same thing kind of in reverse, starting at the high E string at the seventh fret. So here we're gonna start with a down stroke, then we're skipping the middle note and playing an up stroke at the third fret, then descending through this same direction ar uh, arpeggio. So down stroke, down stroke. Okay, then we're skipping the middle note and coming straight to the lowest note with a down stroke. 
then walking up with an upstroke, downstroke. Now when we get to the B string, we're gonna skip the lowest note and go straight to the middle note. So then we have an upstroke. And then we would be resetting with the downstroke here to start the pattern over again. So again, that pattern starting at the seventh fret on the high E string is gonna go down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then we start over. Uh, now at the B string at the seventh fret. So then down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then we start over again on the G string. Okay, then once more, starting at the D string. So when we put that all together, we get... Now let's look at one more exercise that involves the same direction arpeggio. So we're gonna start with the first three notes of the scale on the low E string, starting with a downstroke. So down, up, down, and then down, down, and then up here. So when we get to the D string, we're skipping the middle note and just doing an upstroke on the highest note. So the whole pattern goes. Now, we're done with the pattern here. We're gonna reset on the A string. And because we ended the pattern with an upstroke, it puts our right hand in position to start with a downstroke again, but now on the A string. Okay, now we're in position to start again from the D string, and then again from the G string. So it's down, up, down, 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 up. And then we reset on the A string and do it again. Then on the D string, then on the G string. So when we put it all together, we get. And this one's kind of fun to shred. And you can do the same thing in reverse. So we can go, that's up, down, up. Then up, up, and then down. And then we're done with the pattern, so. And then start again. And start again on the G string. And start again on the D string. So now let's look at some exercises that will work out the mixed direction arpeggios incorporated with the alt picking. So let's start out by alt picking through the first six notes of the G major scale. So we're gonna cover the low E string and the A string. So we can start with the downstroke here. So we'll have down, up, down, and then up, down, up. Now, right here, we're gonna start our arpeggio, but notice we're starting with an upstroke because that was the last note that we played on the A string. So we'll have this upstroke followed by two downstrokes on the D and G strings. And then we can play up, down for the next two. So we can have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So all together. Then we can do the same thing starting on the A string. We'll have down, up, down, up, down, up, then two downs, and then up, down. So we'll get. And then we can do the same thing starting from the D string. So down, up, down, and then up, down, up, then down, down, up, down. We can do the same thing starting at the high E string coming down this time. So we can start with an upstroke. So we'll go up, down, up, and then down, up, down. And then for this arpeggio, we'll do two down strokes on the G string and then on the D string, and then down, up. So we get up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, and then down, up. And then we can do the same thing starting on the B string. 
then from the G string. Now here's another exercise that utilizes the mixed direction arpeggio. So we'll start at the third fret on the low E string with a downstroke, and then we'll skip the middle note and go straight up to the seventh fret with an upstroke. And then we'll have downstroke, downstroke for that arpeggio, and then we will skip the middle note here and play upstroke, come down the scale, downstroke, up, down, up, and then reset. So we have and then we would start over on the A string. So down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then here we would be resetting on the D string. So down, up, down, and so on. And then we would start here for the pattern starting on the G string. So when you put that all together, you get And we can do the same thing descending. So we'll start on the high E string at the seventh fret with an upstroke. Then we'll skip the middle note and go straight to the third fret with a downstroke. And then we'll do two ups in a row to complete that arpeggio. Okay, then down, up, down, up, down. And then now we're back to an upstroke here at the highest note on the B string to reset the pattern. So once more, starting from the E string, we get up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then we're starting over. So up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then starting over on the G string. So, and then starting here. Okay, so when we put that all together, we get... Now, we've been keeping everything in just this one position, just for the sake of simplicity. But, of course, you can use this in any different position of any scale. And you can also practice connecting these patterns between different positions. So, for example, you could play something like this pattern. But then instead of resetting in the same position, you could start uh, up here instead, like... So you could go... Then shift up again, and then shift up again. So each time that you're resetting, you're shifting up to a new position. You could also practice using slides to connect between positions. So for example, you could play and then slide up to the next position. Slide, slide. So all together you could get something like Now those are just some basic exercises to get you used to the physical mechanics of combining alternate picking with sweep picking, both using the same direction and mixed direction arpeggios in both an ascending and descending fashion. But I think a really great way to start to really get the hang of it is to improvise freely at a very slow pace. So you could use a metronome or a backing track set to a very slow tempo, or you could just do this on your own. And so the idea would be to start improvising using alternate picking as kind of your default mode, and then spontaneously um, inject those little arpeggio sweeps to connect you to more alternate picking. So you could start by slowly improvising with alt picking. Just freely improvising, then decide, okay, arpeggio. Now back to alt picking. Still alt picking. Now arpeggio, 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 arpeggio.
arpeggio. Arpeggio. And so on. And the more you practice doing that at a slow tempo, the more comfortable you'll become with the movements and the easier it'll be to then start speeding it up a bit. And another thing that happens over time when you practice slowly and deliberately in that way is that it starts to feel more just like one way of playing as opposed to a blend of two separate techniques. So in other words, the sweeps will start to feel like an extension of your alternate picking so that it all just kind of blurs together into one style of playing. And that's really the goal. Okay, guys, that's all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out more in-depth tutorials, of course, you can check out my tutorial store, CameronAllenMusic.com slash tutorials. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.